Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the, this is your bonus reading for Valentine's Day. This is actually a timeless reading and we are going to take a look at your uh, current person of interest feelings or the person that you're thinking about. Could be a past person, new person, doesn't really matter. And then we are going to clarify and look and see if there's any new love that's coming in for you here, Gemini. But uh, Gemini, uh, this is timeless, by the way, if I didn't say that. And uh, also feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you. But uh, Gemini, again, we're going to just take a look at your current person of interest or the person on your mind. Uh, what are their feelings towards you? And uh, let's see here. Uh, definitely, <laughs> for some of you, I feel like this person clearly wants to return. I'm not saying, again, as I've said in all the other readings, I'm not saying you will return to this person, but again, we're just looking at their feelings. I feel like they want to return or they will want to return in the future. This would be your future position. And I kind of use like a loose spread. So I do past, present, future. And I feel like this person still feels like a lot of love here in this situation. So let's see here, Gemini, what is going on for you? You have this uh, Be insight well, Insightful and Established card. It says, ground and rebalance your energies. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occup occupy the past or the future. So I feel like some of you, this person, I feel it's kind of weird because I feel like they see this as a very unique situation is really the word that's popping into my head on this card. I feel that the person you're thinking about kind of sees this as, or saw this maybe in the past as something that had a lot of potential. You have the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. I do feel like this person made a very quick decision. Could have been a fire sign or an air sign that you're dealing with here. Uh, it could also just been someone who has fire or air in their chart, Gemini, but uh, that's what stands out to me here. I feel like they ran away. Um, this could have happened recently as well here, Gemini, and I feel like you're left a little confused or not sure uh, what to do in this situation with the Eight of Swords. That Knight of Swords is like someone who makes a hasty decision. So I feel that, you know, regardless of when this happened, I feel like you could be dealing with a person uh, who ran away here or someone who made a decision uh, too quickly with this energy. And I, kind of without thinking with that Knight of Swords energy, the Page of Wands, I feel like this restlessness as well. So I feel like this person just like had to make a decision with that page of wands. I feel like they felt maybe a little bit trapped in the situation, in the connection uh, with you. And I, I, I'm not saying that they were trapped. I'm just describing their feelings, uh, at, you know, during whenever this happened, whenever this running away incident happened. Um, so I feel like they felt a little trapped. Uh, maybe not by you. Um, you know, this could be just looking at the card. There's so much love here. This is why I'm saying this. There's a lot of love here. So I'm wondering if they're, they were going through something here. Gemini, or it could be you as well, that was going through something with that page of wands and just feeling restless. You have this why card, and I feel that if this person ran away from you, it's like you have a lot of questions, like, you know, especially if this is a ghosting situation or something like that. I feel like you're just asking why did this happen here? Mm. <laughs> Damn it, Gemini. I feel like it was fate. I feel like the universe kind of maybe uh, didn't really cause this to happen. I feel like we have free will. I don't think the universe makes anything happen in our lives. We have free will. We create our own reality and you know we get what we put out basically. But I do feel like this was kind of like fated is the reasoning here. You have the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Hermit here. For some of you, I feel, again, just for more clarity, I feel like this person could have uh, kind of maybe run away here or made a decision to cut you out uh, because they were going through something with the Hermit card. They could have been doing some like soul searching. They could have been do like looking for inner answers and things like that here. I still feel like this person has a lot of love for you. Nine of Cups and Two of Cups, this person sees you as a wish or a dream come true. So if you're thinking of a person here, um, you know, someone that you've dealt with already or that someone that's on your mind, I feel like there's a ton of love here. Again, at the end, we're going to clarify in just a minute and we're going to look into new love that could be coming in for you here um I, I, I you know of course i think new love is always available to us but i feel like this person here still has a lot of love for you here i'm getting boston popping into my head as well so some of you could have been uh, dealing with a person from boston they could be obsessed with boston their favorite sports team might be the red Sox. no thank you 
but uh, you know, I'm, I just pissed off like 20 million people, right? But uh, I feel for some of you, uh, this person had, there's some connection to Boston here popping to mad for some of you. Uh, for others, I feel like this person just, again, still sees you as a wish come true. So what's the freaking problem here, Gemini? You have the owl card. It says you see clearly now. I feel like for some of you, you do see like why this person walked away. If someone walked away from you, here. For others, I almost feel that you could be the one that walked away with this Knight of Swords energy and you could be wanting to return. You have the Judgment, Three Cups, and the Two Wands. I do, I feel like someone was a little bit scared, you know, uh, and again, I'm not saying you were scared, but I feel that maybe someone was, a little, maybe this was a relationship that would have required you to leave a comfort zone here or your per, this person here, maybe they would have had to leave a comfort zone with the Two Wands. So I feel like there were some fears. I feel like this person wants to come back. I feel like if this story is for you, I feel like you would want them back here as well. If you don't want this person back again we're gonna we're gonna look for new love in just a minute but uh, I feel like if you do then I feel like you both want each other back here with the three cups I do get like third party energy here but I feel like it's something that was over with in the first place so it's like some of you it's like maybe you were married or something like that and uh, you know, but maybe you were getting divorced and maybe this person just felt like they didn't want to be like second place or something like that. Uh, I don't think it was a secret though. Or, you know, again, maybe this person was married and maybe you didn't want to feel like you were like the second choice here, even though you weren't. I feel like there's a ton, way more love here. Um, but again, I feel like that could have caused a change. Like marriage I'm getting is popping into my head for sure. But I feel like this is over now. Uh, like if it's not over, it will be in the very near future. Uh, for others, I feel like for either you or your person is seeing how important you are here in this situation. So it's like either you're seeing them as extremely important with that owl card, major wake up call with the judgment card, or they're seeing how important you are to them and to their life. So there's some sort of wake up here is what I would say to you. I feel very weird about this card here, this um, be insightful and established card. I feel like this is saying that for some of you, it's like I feel you could come from two very different sides of the world or you know two very different worlds you could have grown right up neck right next to each other but i feel like you're like you know this is like two people who are very different is popping into my head here maybe the way you were raised is different um, maybe you are you know maybe one person's blue collar the other one's white collar you know it's like there's some sort of difference here i feel on that card and um you know that could have caused some like insecurities and I do get some insecurities here but let's dig into this uh, this looks interesting I do actually before we do that I want to pull an extra row here because uh, I do want to see uh, is this person going to make a move or are you going to make a move if it is someone from the past what's going to happen here ace of wands somebody's going to make a move <laughs> uh, the star <laughs> And you have the eight of wands. Yeah, definitely. I feel like either, it doesn't matter. Uh, I would say if you want someone back from the past, I would just make a move here, Gemini, and I would communicate with them. Could be an Aquarius or a fire sign you were dealing with. They could have those things in their chart. Could also be a Virgo as well. Uh, like I said, could be any sign. This is general reading. I feel like, again, this is very clear. Like I always say, people always leave comments. They're like, I don't want my ex back. If you don't, good. <laughs> is what I would say to you, Gemini. Don't take them back. But if you want them back, right? Uh, it, this is for those of you, let me make it clear, that had a positive relationship, as I've been saying in all these readings, that want this person back, I would make a move here because it's like somebody's got to make a move. I feel like a move will be made, but uh, I feel like there would be a lot of happiness here. Again, you would see this person as a wish, this person you're thinking of or a dream come true with that star card, but I feel like a move needs to be made. So I would make just make a move. I, but I do feel there will be communication. Uh, but anyway... Uh, let's look and see if there's any new love available or what new love is available to you, I should say, because, of course, new love is always available to us, Gemini. But thank you for being here. And uh, also make sure to leave a like on this video. Really appreciate all the likes and all the support. But Gemini, let's see what we have for you, Gemini people and Gemini. Let's see here. You have the world. What did I say? Like two people on the opposite sides of the world. For some of you, it could be long distance, but for others, I really don't think it's long distance. I think it's just saying, you know, two people who come from different worlds, two people who come from different backgrounds or something like that is what I'm getting here. You have the two of swords. You have a choice here. And the seven of cups. Yeah, this is a choice. 
I, I feel like you have a choice between the past and between something new. I, and this is weird. Uh, this is a weird reading, Gemini, because I feel the message I'm getting here is that for some of you, it's almost like you have a choice between um, two people and maybe one is newer than the other one. So uh, I would pick the newer person if you've met someone new. For others, I feel like you could be meeting someone new through travel or through moving. The Two of Swords is a card of going to new lands. And the Seven of Cups really says you're spoiled for choice. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunity and love for you. You have the Strength card. Could be a Leo. For some of you, again, fire stands out to me here in general. Could be a Leo. You have the Queen of Swords, you. So you're, number one, this is the best position you could show up in right here in, as the center card. So you show up in a, a position of power and strength as the Queen of Swords showing up in this middle row. I also feel like you're very clear on what you want. There is an element of clarity in this reading. Page of Cups here, definitely new love available to you. So I do feel like someone uh, could be making an offer towards you or you're going to make an offer towards them. And it feels like new love to me. So I do feel like there could be clearly new love coming in for you. Could be a water sign. For others, if this is a person from the past, uh, again, I just feel like you see very, very clearly with that Queen of Swords that you desire this person. Uh, plain and simple. Pretty, pretty clear. Six of Cups. Boom. There you go. Someone from the past. The Death card, definitely a trend going through a transformation in the Four Cups here. I feel like you're fearing whether or not this person will accept your love offer here, Gemini. So if, um, we'll, we'll, I'll pull another extra row. Why not? And we'll see if that what's going to go on there. But uh, for some of you, I feel that this is kind of like you were confused in the past. Queen of Swords, you gained clarity. Six of Cups, I feel like you know who your soulmate is. It could be uh, someone from the past. Judgment in the Ace of Wands. It's like maybe there was a false start with a person I feel here intuitively. And it's like things just didn't really get off the ground maybe. And it's like you could be going back to that person there, Gemini. Um, like I said, it could be a fire sign. could be a um, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius stands out to me, Leo. Could be any of those signs that I just mentioned. Could be any signs, just a general reading. But I feel like you could be going back to someone from the past, especially if there was a false start. The star is like healing. So you could be healing the situation, but someone has to reach out. But I feel like there are fears with that four of cups, basically. Uh, regardless of who walked away in this situation, I feel like someone thought the grass was greener on the other side. But I don't really feel like it's, I, I don't think it's like that, Gemini. I feel like someone just couldn't see how they could, um, you know, like it's, it's almost like it wasn't. <laughs> I, I feel like for some of you, it's like if this person left you or whatever, it's like I feel like they thought life was going to be not better, but I feel like they just kind of made a decision. It's like they thought, you know, like I have to do this for X, Y, and Z reason. So kind of weird there, Gemini. It could also be you, but uh, I feel like if you walked away from the person that you're going back to here or that you want to communicate with, I feel like they want to communicate with you. And I also feel that maybe you didn't really feel the grass was greener. I feel like it was more like you're, I'm getting, selling yourself short. So it's like, maybe you feel it felt like you didn't deserve this person, but I feel like you did, especially if it was a good person. Uh, if not, obviously not. Um, there's definitely new love available to you. So again, as I always say, it's like new love is always available to us. You don't have to go back to the past. It could be a water sign coming in for you here. You have the King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you would have to open up to this person from the past, maybe. Ten of Cups and Sun, though. <laughs> it's like you could have a family with this person. This person brings you extreme happiness. I feel like they're a little closed off. Nine of Cups, but they're a wish. Dream come true. So the person from the past, I feel like you would have to reach out to. I do feel like there's fears there, but I feel like they still have love. Uh, for others, this could be a new person who is just a wish, a dream come true. Someone who you will have a family with. Mm, could be someone you're feeling orphaned from. Could be someone you're feeling left out in the cold from. I, I feel like you gotta make a move. TikTok, you know, here. So I feel like you gotta make a move if this is someone from the past. I don't really feel like time is running out. I just feel like a move needs to be made here in this situation. Here's the other thing. You know, people always say, don't go back to someone during a retrograde, which is true. Um, but at the same time, sometimes it's not. <laughs> sometimes you could, and, and, and so what if it doesn't work out, right? So if you're sitting here watching this during Mercury retrograde and you're thinking about this past person, maybe you could at least heal something even if it doesn't continue after the retrograde. But I feel like for some of you, this is like your true love. Like, like I always say, it's like the universe doesn't stop things from happening if there's a, a retrograde going on. Like if you're meant to be with a person or if a person is someone who could be in your life, the universe isn't gonna stop that from happening because of Mercury retrograde. So I always say, don't give astrology or even these right here. This is a piece of paper right here, uh, Gemini. This is a piece of paper with a picture on it. 
so don't give it too much power, right? No matter what this says, you have full control over your own reality. So, you know, I'd say make your, shoot your shot here towards someone from the past if that's what you want. For others, clearly, there's definitely new love. So, you know, I feel like if you want to move towards new love, I would go for it. Uh, but looks good. So thank you for watching, Gemini. I really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you uh, at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Gemini, and definitely enjoy your month.